Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. In the previous video, we have seen the metabolism of phenylalanine and tyrosine. In today's video, we will see the metabolism of another uh, aromatic amino acid that is tryptophan. So, tryptophan, it is an indole all ring containing essential amino acid and it is important for the synthesis of various precursors like Niacin, that is a vitamin B3, it is one of the water soluble vitamin, neurotransmitter like serotonin and hormone like melatonin. So these are the three important substances which are synthesized from the tryptophan. Tryptophan is metabolized by two main pathways. First pathway is called as a kynorenin pathway and in the kynorenin pathway there is a synthesis of alanine as well as Kynurenine. Alanine is a glucogenic amino acid while kynurenine it gets converted either to the niacin or it gets converted to the acetyl-CoA. That's why this tryptophan is called as a partially glucogenic as well as partially ketogenic amino acid. And the second pathway is serotonin pathway. So let's first see kynurenine pathway in detail. The first step in the kynorenin pathway is tryptophan gets oxidized to the L-formal kynorenin with the help of tryptophan oxygenase enzyme and another name of this tryptophan oxygenase enzyme is tryptophan pyrolase. After that L-formal kynorenin there will be the removal of formyl group from this L-formal kynorenin with the help of kynorenin formylase enzyme and this L-formyl kynorenin gets converted to the L-kynorenin. This L-kynorenin gets hydroxylate, hydroxylated with the help of kynorenin hydroxylase enzyme into the 3-hydroxy kynorenin. This hydroxyrenin in the presence of pyridoxal phosphate as a coenzyme with the help of kynorenase enzyme gets converted to the 3 hydroxy intranilate. Now if there is a, any deficiency of vitamin B6 which is a vitamin B6 which is a pyridoxin then there will be no conversion of 3 hydroxy kynorenin to the 3 hydroxy intranilate and this 3 hydroxy kynorenin will be converted to the xanthorenate and this xanthorenate will be excreted in urine. So in the patients of uh, deficiency of vitamin B6 there will be the excretion of xanthorenate in the urine. So over here with the help of this kynorenase enzyme there is a synthesis of alanine as well as 3-hydroxy anthranilate. Now this 3-hydroxy anthranilate either it gets converted to the acetyl-CoA which will lead to the synthesis of ketone bodies or it can gets converted to the quinolinate and this quinolinate gets converted to the niacin which is the vitamin B3 and active form of this niacin is the NAD+. So this is basically a kynorenin pathway that shows how there is a synthesis of kynorenin as well as alanine and this kynorenin either it get converted to the acetyl CoA or it gets converted to the niacin. Now let's see the serotonin pathway. Before going in the uh, detail of serotonin pathway, we all should know that for every 60 mg of tryptophan, there is a synthesis of 1 mg of niacin. This tryptophan amino acid is important for the synthesis of this niacin vitamin. Now this is the serotonin pathway. Tryptophan in the presence of tetrahydrobiopterin as a cofactor gets converted to the 5-hydroxy tryptophan with the help of tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme. Now this 5-hydroxy tryptophan, tryptophan undergoes decarboxylation with the help of decarboxylase enzyme and it gets converted to the 5-hydroxy tryptamine and this 5-hydroxy tryptamine is known as a serotonin which act as a neurotransmitter. This serotonin undergoes acetylation with the help of acetyl transferase and gets converted to the N-acetyl serotonin and this N-acetyl serotonin undergoes methylation with the help of methyl transferase and gets converted to the N-acetyl 
5 methoxy serotonin which is a hormone melatonin this 5 hydroxy tryptamine with the help of monoamino oxidase gets converted to the 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid acetic acid and this 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid gets excreted in the urine with the help of monoamino oxidase enzyme so this is the serotonin pathway so till now we have seen two main uh, catabolic pathway for the tryptophan first was the kynorenin pathway and second was the serotonin pathway in the serotonin pathway there is a synthesis of serotonin as well as the melatonin serotonin act as a neurotransmitter while melatonin act as a hormone and we have also seen that there's how serotonin uh, gets converted to the 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid with the help of monoamine oxidase enzyme and this 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid gets excreted in the urine now let's see a uh, various multiple choice questions the first question is which was asked in a neat 2017 serotonin is a 5 hydroxy tryptophan b 5 hydroxy tryptamine c 5 carboxy tryptamine and d 5 carboxy tryptophan so the correct answer is serotonin is 5 hydroxy tryptamine the answer is b second question which is which was asked in a neat 2018 Melatonin derived from so the options are a tryptophan b tyrosine c methionine and d alanine please don't get confused melatonin with the melanin melanin is the pigment which gets synthesized from the tyrosine while the melatonin is the hormone which gets synthesized from the tryptophan apart from the melatonin there are the other substances which are synthesized from the tryptophan are niacin vitamin that is vitamin B3 and neurotransmitter like serotonin. Third question is which was asked in AIMS 2016 which is elevated in pyridoxal phosphate deficiency. PLP is the active form of vitamin B6. So the options are A. Figlu, B. Xanthouranic acid, C. Methylmalonic acid and D. VMA. So the correct answer is B xanthouranic acid that we have already seen in the kynorenin pathway. If there is a deficiency of PLP, then there will be the excretion of xanthouranic acid in the urine. So the correct answer is B. And the last multiple choice question is amino acid that can be converted into vitamin. And the options are A glycine, B tryptophan, C phenylalanine and D lysine. So as we all know that 60 milligram of tryptophan that leads to the synthesis of 1 milligram of niacin. So the correct answer is D. These are the my references. Hope you have find this information useful. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Thank you.